good morning students in this video we are going to see the fifth unit of the nanotechnology very good uh, yeah so what is the fifth unit topics fifth unit topics nothing but physical properties of the nanostructure material so uh, we already saw that properties of nanostructure material nanomaterials okay then the influence of nanostructuring on following properties one is nothing but mechanical then optical electronic magnetic and chemical properties then the gram size effect on the on strength of material optical properties of quantum dots and quantum wires the size the size of size effect uh, will be varying okay when you are varying the size uh, we will get the different strength okay different strength we already saw in the previous units as well as the the optical properties okay optical properties depend upon the quantum dots at all and also the quantum wires so quantum dots also when you are varying, varying the sizes uh, okay you will get the various types of the metals optical properties as well as the uh, as well as the uh, uh, colors okay that will be used in the electrical application also as well as the semiconductor semiconductor optical also like a semiconductor optical also so size effect varying the size effect the strength of the metals will be varying in the mechanical property as well as the optical property also the electronic transport in quantum wires and carbon nanotubes okay when you are changing that the what will happen the electronic transport in quantum wires and carbon nanotubes also it will be used okay uh, next the mechanical properties classical mechanical property when you are using that finding in the mechanical property we will use to calculate the stress and strain value stress value will be calculated based on the load by area okay then strain by uh, change in length by uh, change in length by original length here you can see this this is the uh, simple methodology simple uh, experimental setup for finding the tensile stress okay then here the stress strain curve will be used to find the where is the maximum yield point and the elastic deformation when it's occurred then plastic deformation everything and all we is showing that okay similarly similarly we can find the okay we can find the in in the nanomaterials also similarly the elastic deformation we can find it normally in the mechanical properties with help of the hooke's law sigma equal to capital x modulus into strain okay then uh the modulus can be calculated with the help of the modulus is nothing but the slope equal to the slope that will be calculated with the help of the stress strain curve okay then the mechanical properties of the particular material okay uh, uh particular material of the nano, particular material of the nanoparticle will be depend upon the a grain size micron to mm this is the conventional material when you are using that conventional material the grain size micron to changing the mm the property will be changing we already saw that but here the nanoparticles increase the grain boundaries the mechanical properties also varying the grain we already ever each points are we already in the scene in the previous here we are going to recall that properties okay the influence on the mechanical property uh, based on increase the uh, hardness yield strength elastic modulus and toughness so these are the properties uh, when you are increasing the mechanical property also increased that uh, that uh, that thing is based on the increasing grain boundaries grain boundaries so the in the conventional uh, material uh, when you are increasing the size that means grains grain size micron to mm the properties will be varying okay here the combustion of the tensile curve the shown in the drawing here the true curve and the uh, x axis shows the true curve and uh, y axis shows the true stress okay the aluminum magnesium crimeld crimeld uh, 20 nanometer similarly when it is ultra fine grain 80 nanometer showing the value then 2 mm and uh, milling in liquid nitrate okay cryomoly cryo milling uh, the so showing the various uh, uh, various thing here yeah, when it is uh, when you can see this okay you can see this this uh, uh, value will be 
changing tensile curve value will be changing depending upon the where the grain size mechanical properties of the nano material compared to coarse grain material okay high young, young modulus and tensile strength here higher young modulus and tensile strength will be achieved to four times achieve that means four time we can achieve uh, for nano materials then lower plastic deformation and more brittle material will be we are getting the low bore metal material then strength and hardness with the grain size here it's showing that strength and hardness strength and hardness of the nano structured material increases with the decreasing the size that is a very important point we already said the previous uh, slides also explain the same thing okay grain boundaries deformations okay grain boundary deformation also based on that it will be increasing the strength and hardness then elongation structured material the elongation will be decreased then after that lower density of mobile dis dislocation short distance of dislocation movement will be achieved then comparison of the engs modulus okay here you can see this for rubber material we will get the engs modulus is 0.1 for aluminum 70 for ferron uh, 200 for silicon carbide 440 but uh, ferron uh, sorry uh, fe nanoparticle at 100 nanoparticle we will get here you can see this the comparison of these two here we will get the 200 nan gigapascal but here we will get the 800 when you are moving to the carbon nanotubes we are getting the thousand okay thousand uh, gigapascal as well as the diamond we are getting that 1200 gigapascal okay next uh, we will see the magnetic properties of the nano material each spin okay of is a small magnet okay how each spin is a small magnet interaction here you can see this okay the ferromagnetic and anti-ferromagnetic they will show the direction here uh, the j is greater than that means j is greater than uh, zero the ferromagnetic here you will see can see this every arrow mark show indicating the ferromagnetic but uh, anti-ferromagnetic here the upper uh, the green color indicating the downward direction okay then the red color indicating the upper direction here we will get the anti-ferromagnetic so interact interaction between neighbor neighboring spin is dominated by the spin exchange interaction so in this material j is less than and the material is non-magnetic so due to this what will happen if this is the an anti-ferromagnetic anti-ferromagnetic but uh, here you can see this that due to the spin of spin neighboring spin we are getting the uh, neighboring spin we are getting the uh, maximum magnetic magnetic condition okay so uh, that material getting the more magnetic paper that nanoparticle is getting the more magnetic as compared to the other materials here the types of magnet uh, magnetism okay uh, here you can see this dia uh, dia magnetism okay here uh, it will show the magnetic behavior is showing the arrow will be uh, downward direction then paramagnetism here the it will be uh, straight line okay uh, slope not a straight line a slope we are getting above zero point we are getting slope then ferromagnetism we are getting that the curved line okay then Similarly, up to this, up to super paramagnetism, it's showing the magnetic behavior. Then, physical properties of the nanomaterial. Then, uh, here, all the nanomaterials, uh, when you are using the, all, uh, we know that uh, all the nanomaterials having lower melting point. So, because of phase transition temperature and appreciably reduce the latex content, latex constant due to a uh, yeah, huge fraction of surface atom in the total amount of atom so due to this properties so we are getting the low melting point as well as the phase transformation temperature okay then mechanical properties of nanomaterials may reach a yeah, theoretical strength okay may reach it is a theoretical strength. we are theoretical strength when you are getting calculated in the theoretical strength where uh, it will be higher value as compared to the practical one but uh, in the nanoparticle when you are uh, reducing the size okay de de depending upon the size we are achieving the theoretical value which are one or two order of magnitudes higher than that single crystal in the bulk form okay then the enhancement in the mechanical strength is due to 
simply due to the reduced probability of the defects. So this is can be achieved by the reduction of the defects. Okay, when you are in the bulk formation, we are getting the uh, maximum number of the defects, uh, defects, uh, impurities, everything and all. But in the nanoparticle, okay, the uh, nanoparticle, we are having the less atoms. Okay, that atoms and all, we are going to define due to that what will happen, that defects are very, very less. Okay, we are defining the uh, atom formation. So, due to that what happening, the uh, defects and the impurities are very less. So, we are getting the high mechanical properties. Then, physical properties of the nanomaterial, uh, uh, continuation of the physical properties of the nanomaterials, optical properties of nanomaterials can be significantly differ from bulk crystal. We already saw that in the previous slides. For example, the optical absorption peak of semiconductor nanomaterials shifts to short wavelength due to a increased band gap. Yeah, the, the band gap, when you are increasing the band gap, what will happen? The energy energy uh, traveling is very high due to the energy creation is very high what will happen so due to that uh, the short wavelength shifts the short wavelength okay yeah. uh, they, uh, that will be another thing okay due to the the increase energy increase increases is very high so what will happen the absorption okay we are getting the maximum uh, energy creation so due to that what will happen we the optical observation is peak okay in the semiconductor nanoparticle the color of the metallic nanoparticle may change with, uh, with their size due to surface plasma responses. Okay, SPR, they will call as SPR. Then, electrical conductivity decreases with a reduced dimension due to increased surface of scattering. Scattering, surfaces of scattering. Uh, yeah, then, when they are electrical conductivity decreased uh, due to dimension due to uh, reduced dimensions that when your uh, size is reduced electrical conductivity is decreased because of increasing the surface scattering however electrical conductivity of nano materials could be a enhanced appreciably due to the better ordering in microstructure microstructure example in polymeric fibrous fibrous then magnetic properties of nanostructure materials are distinctly different from the bulk material ferromagnetism of bulk material disappears and transfer to the super magnetism in the nanometer scale due to the huge surface energy yeah here you can see this uh, here in this material okay uh, you can see the, it will show the super ferromagnetism curve and here you can see the uh, ferromagnetism ferromagnetism curve similarly both are same okay magnetic behavior are same but uh, but when you are changing that the property will be changing then optical properties uh, sorry then self purification self purification is an intrinsic thermodynamic property of nanostructure and nanomaterial any heat treatment uh, increases the diffusion of impurities intrinsic sorry intrinsic structural defects and dislocation and uh, one can easily push them to near uh, by surfaces increased perfection okay that is a very important point would have appreciably impact on the chemical and physical properties for example chemical stability would be enhanced chemical property will be enhanced then uh, nanometers have structural features in between of those of atoms and the bulk materials so structural features will be there in the nanomaterials as compared to the bulk material while most microstructure material have similar properties to the corresponding bulk material the properties of material with the nanometer, nanometer dimensions are significantly differ from those of atom and bulk materials.